Day and welcome to the day two coverage of the Olympics and it is probably about 184 days of this beer growth. My name is Pasha and I'm covering pretty much the Aussies. So overnight we had, early this morning, we had a silver and bronze medal added to our tally. So it takes us ninth overall on the uh, medal tally there. We had a silver added by Christian Springer in the 100 meter breaststroke. Got on him, he went under uh, 59 seconds in a textile suit, so that's pretty sweet for him. Uh, Brisbane boy as well. Good on him. Uh, Alicia Coots brought in the bronze medal in the 100 meter butterfly, which was an amazing effort, especially since the winner broke the world record, which is, I think, the first, uh, second world record broken in a textile suit compared to the super swimsuit, whatever they were. Um, unfortunately, we uh, had a disappointing uh, fourth for the 4x100 men's freestyle relay. They were expected to win or high hopes to win and they ended up coming in fourth. But it was a very, very close race and France ended up taking it out. So at least the Americans didn't, you know, because we hate Americans apparently. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. Was it France or America we'd rather pick? I don't know. I don't know how the Aussie test goes on that one. But um, <clears throat> who else? We had some great things happen. Men's water polo last night. The boys unfortunately went down to Italy. Um, and the basketball, the boys unfortunately went down to Brazil. Very close games for both of them, though. Um, what else did we have? We had uh, Maley and Draper in the canoeing kayak go through to their rounds. We had Hansel in the table tennis. He's gone through. Hopefully he can make the quarterfinals. He'll be the first Aussie to do that. Um, women's in the road race. Unfortunately, we, we didn't go too well. There's a lot of mechanical problems. They were riding through the rain and the hail, and so that was pretty crazy. Um, what else did we have there? I'll just double check, make sure I'm not missing anything. But it's been a very good game so far, starting off. And, uh, oh, biggest thing, Emily Seabom uh, got the world, uh, world record, Olympic record in the heat. And has qualified fastest into the finals of the 100 meter backstroke. So that's coming up tomorrow morning, early tomorrow morning. And uh, later tonight for swimming, we'll have the 200 meter IM. Uh, Stephanie Rice is in that and Alicia Coots as well in that. So they're favourites to take it out. Um, what else do we have? And that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, so there you go. So uh, keep updated by hitting the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like this video. And uh, if anything pops up, uh, and I might come on later today, just to let you know what's coming up in uh, tonight's viewing and early tomorrow morning. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.